Hey, and welcome back to City Skylines. This is Angel City episode at 27 today. So when we last left off, we had just uh, added a lot of high density population along the river front here, decorated up a little bit of area. Uh, I've also went ahead and let's see if we can get a night view here. Um, I went ahead and changed the area along the riverfront here. So we'll see that light up here in just a second. There we go. I added some lights along the riverfront. Here's what we're going to do this time. In this area here, we're going to continue our population expansion. We're going to build out in this area here. Uh, what we're going to do is work on a nature reserve up this way. We'll do that uh, in another episode here soon. So what we've got right now, I'm going to get the game going a little bit, is so we've got a 2% unemployment. We need to get that up so that we can entice more workers. What we want to do is we're going to put in, I think we're going to look for a 2x3 road. Make it tree lined over here. So we're going to put in a way in from this side. I think right here looks like this should be good. I'm going to come in a little ways further. I think here, we'll go with a 20 and then we'll cut it shorter as we want. And two in and three out. I'm going to go with that right now. All right, and then right here with this road. I'm going to go ahead and, and do the same thing right here. So now we got the two areas to get people in and out. Once we complete this area, we can also go across the river over here. So I think we need to work on this road here. Uh, let's see if we go to the four lane. Probably free form it. Or. Hmm. Now nah, just go free form. I was thinking um, network multi tool, but. Might need to work on. Might need to work on the height of the roads here. They're digging into the ground a little bit. All right, we'll do that. Also, clicked home to bring it back up. We'll grab each of these. And I think I made the change in here. Go back over to the toolbox and make them to terrain height. There, I just moved the road up a little bit. Put the crossing in there. Let's go ahead and set this up with dedicated turning lanes. Control, click. So this will be two lanes heading out of the city. Uh, let's see, currently giveaway. All right, so let's go ahead and work in this area first. Let's go ahead and lay out some roads. So a lot of these roads will be smaller. We don't have a need for large, high capacity. But with that said, I think we're going to work with some roads following along here. There we go. Again, we'll come in five. I think we can back this road up just a little bit. Then with the network multi-tool over here, we'll do an S connection from here to here. And how's that look? 
Is that enough? Nope, I don't like that one. I think we need to do from here to here. Change the S-curve slightly. And here there. We wanted to make that a bridge piece, so... Hmm. Nodes are too close together. There we go. That will work. Now let's take a look at our zoning. See what the contour lines look like. Now we're not going to have any zoning on this part of the road, so what we should do, turn off that, is come up here to the zoning tool. Let's go ahead and disable it. All right. Now, that road is done. Let's add some little roads, get some uh, residential going on in here. So that'll be that area. Now, we're going to get some facilities in here. Let's go ahead and put in a medical clinic because we'll need that. Okay, so now that's education in that area. Now, let's go ahead and put in some commercial. All right, so now we got some growth coming in here. Good. Let's go ahead and finish up the road structure on this side. We'll go with that. Let's go ahead and put some more commercial in. Other thing we can do real quick, put in a little bus route. That should help a little bit of movement. We're just going to have to let that grow. See how that goes. Over here. Oh, we are not there yet, but we do need to grow a little. I did do something that apparently is making a difference here. Let's check out our warehouses. No trucks. Nobody's yeah, I got some in use. Let's take a look. Not enough resources. What do we need for resources? Glass manufacturer needs ore. So here are the transfer controller. Prefer local distribution. I don't want to allow imports. Uh, location restrictions could be in this area, but uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so goods in. Um, I want to prefer local distribution. Right, so. So if I'm changing them, it is actually placing green check mark up here. Saying that I've customized it. These ones here, again, you can do that transfer controller mod here. So goods in, I want local. I don't want imports. Prefer local, even though I'm going to allow some exports. Now, the vehicles, you can reserve four different types of connections as well. Which right now, I'm not going to worry about too much. But I want to know is if somebody's coming here. Oh, so so there is somebody coming here. Apparently he's importing it from somewhere. So I don't want imports. Oops, and then this one he imported, this one imported. So it 
had everybody importing. So if that's true, then that's affecting these as well. All right, so we do have uh, do have some about it, uh, some adjustments to do on these with this mod. So I have to. Uh, I'll have to go around and fix all these. So I'll do that uh, real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I made some adjustments to a bunch of the facilities. I'm pretty sure I didn't get them all, but that explains the uh, influx of imports as well. Some of them are exports, re people returning. So I had to do the farm, did the oil area, and down over here, I missed one that is important. So what they're doing is they're actually importing goods right now. So here, there, goods in. But if you look, he's heading back to the cargo train terminal. So we need to, I'll have to keep an eye on that. That might be what's going on with, no, nah, it's not what's going on here. So that's good. There we go. More people are moving in, so we are getting some work. Some more workers. Slowly in here. Not as fast as I thought would happen, but it's okay. Now let's go ahead and put in a little bit of bike paths and uh, walking paths. Make some, some extra walkability here. growth. Gained almost 2,000 people in this episode. That should put us on track with getting a few more in here. We are almost there. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we can do real quick to help this out? Well, there we go. Gizmo Industries has reached level four. So that gives us access to another uh, another factory, some more maintenance buildings, some more storage and plants. We get the lower, large ore mine. Still not the big one I'm looking for. That comes next. So real quick, if we look large underground mine, I think I like that idea right there. So let's go ahead and replace that one.
All right, that'll increase our count by quite a bit. Got a nice area working out here. Increased our population quite a bit. So with this, I'm going to leave this to go and uh, work on another episode uh, next week. Look at the upgrades going on in the background. All right, in the next episode, we're going to uh, make sure Gizmo Industries has enough uh, workforce to go up to the level five. We're going to work on our transportation network, I believe, as well. So with that, I want to thank you for allowing me to share my playtime with you. Have a good night. Bye. I'd like to thank WAC4863, Biffa, and these others for inspiring me to share my playtime with you. Please check out their channels. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe to see more. Ring that bell to be notified when I upload the next video. Thank you for watching.